Hi and welcome back. My name is Deneen. If you've never seen me before in your life, <laughs> okay, you can call me D. And what I do is teach people the psychology behind marketing using astrology. And of course, read the cards. <laughs> so let's hop right into it, okay? Today we're doing the main idea, you guys. And the main idea is all about what it is that you should be focusing on at this point in time in your journey. So let's hop right into it. And so the spirit guides. What message do you have for the collective for this week? Okay, that fell you guys. We have the two of pentacles upright. The king of wands in reverse. And the eight of pentacles in reverse. The main idea for the collective for this week. We have the Seven of Pentacles upright, and then we have the Three of Swords in reverse. So what I'm seeing here is there's a decision that needs to be made in regards to what is yours and what is others and whose resources is actually going to be coming together for what you're going to build next. The reason why I say that is that we have the two of pentacles here and it says find balance in your life to build your success. So there is, seems like there's a decision that is coming up or fast approaching when it comes to something that you want to take action towards. You could have had this in planning, but it's not, it's not like you're, um, you have this in planning or you planned out for this, but you haven't actually taken the action to do it yet. Okay. With the page of wands in reverse. So this is still in the planning stage or you have the plan set up for it, but you're not taking the action yet. And this is actually going to bring you a lot of financial growth because you have the seven of pentacles upright, but you have the eight of pentacles in reverse. Okay. And the eight of pentacles is careless, unfocused, meaningless, lack of meaning behind actions, uninspired. So right now you could be mostly contemplating plating on your next move or your next step to go towards your finances and this could be a financial goal that you've been um very much wanting to do for a while now and it's seeming like what what's happening here is with the seven of pentacles upright is that you guys are going to be getting to this goal or achieving this goal and there's going to be some progress that's happening here but it's not before you have to leave or release something okay so the Three of Swords talks about a sep uh, separation and it also talks of a harsh truth is better than a soft lie. Okay, so I feel like there's something that you have to release or let go that you haven't been willing to release or let go. This, this is something that could be either immediately around you or part of your immediate surroundings. So this could be a friend or somebody you've known and grown up with or this can also be something like i said in your immediate local environment that is obstructing you from taking a step forward or from progressing forward because you haven't fully released it yet and the reason why you haven't released it is because you're trying to create balance here where there's there's there was balance here before previously before you came this before you became this person in your life okay what i mean by that is you've honestly been going at something very much diligently and now you're getting ready to get you're getting ready to get a breakthrough with this but this breakthrough isn't going to come out of nowhere you have to release and let go of something that you've been balancing out this could have been something that's been in your life for a long time now and that's why i was saying a friend specifically somebody from your local neighborhood or somebody you've kn known since childhood but it seems like you're going to have to release this and let go in order for you to move it forward in the path that you want to move forward and because it seems like there's something about you trying to balance this relationship out or balance 
yeah, balance this relationship out or balance whatever is me immediately around you out that is obstructing you from taking from taking this next step, which is actually taking action on what you say you want to do. Okay? We're going to get three cards. This is the Native American tarot deck. Got this from Philly. <laughs> okay? So, Ancestor Spirit Guides. What's the main idea of this week? For the collective. Okay, we have Sundance, which is the hangman in this deck. Okay. We have the moon. And we have the warrior of shields. Okay, you see what I was saying? Okay, so you guys, you really have been working at something very digital diligently and now the slow time or the slow moving manner that things used to come to you in is going to be over now all right there seems like there's going to be there's going to be something you're going to have to think about and contemplate about this could be in regards to a change that's fast approaching and this could be in your private uh, this could be in your private life or behind the scenes that this change is fast approaching all right but it seems like something is coming in to make you think and really make a decision on how you're going to progress forward the moon being here with the hangman i feel like you might feel emotionally stuck towards what you've been going after but now whatever decision is coming up for you to make this april it seems like it's going to open the floodgates for blessings to come through for you okay so that's all that we have for this week. Thank you guys so much. If you like, make sure that you like. And if you don't want to miss out, make sure that you subscribe. If you guys would like to take my course on astrology so that you can transform your life, <laughs> okay, you can get it in the link down below. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you later. Bye.